Acer's Swift 3 lineup is probably one of the most populated series of the manufacturer. Ultimately, it has always been a thin and light notebook, aimed at a young user base, that needs something fast on the go. And to be honest, Acer has been pretty consistent with the good execution of their plans. But what is going to make the Swift 3, SF314, 511, more appealing than its predecessors? Well, for starters, we are talking about Tiger Lake U chips, support for Intel's Evo platform, and a very compact form factor. Speaking of which, the laptop weighs only 1.2 kilograms and has a profile of 16 millimeters. As you can imagine, it feels like a feather in your hand. Although its construction is made out of metal, we can't say that the laptop is the toughest one out there. To add to that, the input devices are not the best either, with the keyboard having a slightly mushy feel and the touchpad taking some time to register your input. Thankfully, there is some stuff that makes the device better, like the fingerprint reader, and the addition of a Thunderbolt 4 connector. Not only that, but the laptop comes with two USB Type-S, an HDMI 2.0 connector, and a dedicated power plug, which means you can use the Thunderbolt 4 connector, even when you are charging the device. Unfortunately, the memory here is soldered to the motherboard. On the bright side, the 16GB RAM we got works in quad-channel mode. As for the storage, there is a single M.2 PCIe X4 slot that supports 4th generation drives. You can take a look at our teardown video to see how to open the device. The screen situation appears a lot better than the upgrade options, that's for sure. You get a 1080p IPS panel with comfortable viewing angles, and an excellent contrast ratio of 2100 to 1. Thankfully, we've detected no PWM for brightness adjustment so the laptop is safe for your eyes in that aspect. It covers 98% of the sRGB color gamut, and thanks to our profile, its average delta E is 0.8. Ultimately, this means the image is both vibrant and extremely color accurate. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. This laptop comes with a 53 watt hours battery that delivers about 11 hours of web browsing, or 9 hours and 30 minutes of video playback on a single charge. Hopefully, this should be good enough for an entire workday without the need to plug it into the wall. Since it is built on an Intel architecture, the device can be equipped with up to the core i7-1165 G7. Well, we chose the slightly less pretentious and more budget core i5-1135 G7. Nevertheless, the scores it produced were more than decent, considering it is a quad-core CPU. In extreme workload scenarios, it is able to maintain a 25 watts power limit, which is great. The highest temperature on the surface of the keyboard is not very warm. We measured 38.8 degrees Celsius on the left side, while the right, where the fan is situated, is noticeably cooler to the touch. In terms of noise, the laptop is generally quiet. In light use, you may never hear it. However, when the performance preset is activated, the fan spins pretty fast. With the exception of its input devices, pretty much everything with this notebook is great. Its display is perfect for professional work, due to its vibrant and accurate color representation. Moreover, it boasts an excellent performance for its class, and will even allow you to play some light titles like CSGO on reasonably high settings. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.